Here's the punishment of yet other fallen angelic hosts who reign over the earth. If you have the correct perception, Yah is also telling us about the king of the world during Noah's day, who is being prepared in the netherworld to return to the surface of the earth. You don't believe me? Context. Yah is getting the Pharaoh king's mind right for being uppity. Ezekiel chapter 31. Quote, Son of man, speak unto Pharaoh king of Egypt, and to his multitude. Whom art thou like in thy greatness? Behold, the Assyrian was a cedar in Lebanon with fair branches, and with a shadowing shroud, and of a high stature, and his top was among the thick burrows. The waters made him great. The deep set him up on high with her rivers running around about his plants, and sent her out her little rivers until all of the trees of the field. Therefore, his height was exalted above all the trees of the field, and his burrows were multiplied, and his branches became long because of the multitude of waters where he shot forth. All the fowls of heaven made their nests in his burrows, and under the branches did all the beasts of the field bring forth the young, and under his shadow dwelt all great nations. Thus was he fair in his greatness, in the length of his branches, for his root was by great waters. The cedars in the garden of God could not hide him. The fir trees were not like his burrows, and the chestnut trees were not like his branches. Nor any tree in the garden of God was like unto him in his beauty. I have made him fair by the multitude of his branches, so that all the trees of Eden that were in the garden of God envied him. Therefore, thus says Yah, because thou have lifted up thyself in height, and he has shot up his top among the thick burrows, and his heart is lifted up in his height, I have therefore delivered him into the hand of the mighty one of the heathens. He shall surely deal with him. I have driven him out for his wickedness. The strangers, the temple of the nation, have cut him off and have left him. Upon the mountains and in all the valleys his branches are fallen, and his burrows are broken by all the rivers of the land, and all the people of the earth are gone down from the shadows and have left him. Upon his ruin shall all the fowls of the heaven remain, and all the beasts of the field shall be upon his branches, to the end that none of all the trees of the waters exalted themselves for their height, neither shoot up their top among the thick burrows, neither their trees stand up in their height. All that drink water, for they all are delivered unto death, to the nether parts of the earth, in the midst of the children of men. This means they can't be talking about men, but they definitely bear it with them. With them that go down to the pit, thus says Yah, in the day when he went down to the grave, I called a morning. I covered the deep for him. He lived before. This is past tense now. And I restrained the floods thereof, and the great waters were stayed. And I caused Lebanon to mourn for him, and all the trees of the field fainted for him. I made the nations to shake at the sound of his fall when I cast him down to hell. Again, past tense, and this is Sheol, not the lake of fire. With them that descend unto the pit and all the trees of Eden, the choice and the best of Lebanon, all that drink water shall be comforted in the nether parts of the earth. Say that again. All that drink water shall be comforted in the nether parts of the earth. They also went down into hell with him until unto them that be slain with the sword. But they that were his arm, that dwelt under his shadow in the midst of the heathen, to whom art thou thus like in glory and in greatness among the trees of Eden? Hmm. Yet shall thou be brought down with the trees of Eden unto the nether parts of the earth. Thou shalt lie in the midst of the uncircumcised with them that be slain with the sword. This is Pharaoh and his multitude. Thus says Yah. Example. Obviously, the, king, the Pharaoh king of Egypt was ancient enough to know who Yah was talking about. The same Assyrian king will be the hand that kills the Antichrist we read earlier. 